Uh, Stuart Meissner is a Republican candidate for U.S. Senate in New Jersey. Uh, Mr. Meissner, good. Hello, how are you? Thanks for coming in. I banged my head up, and now I'm looking on the camera. Yeah, go ahead. You got to go microphone. Sorry about that. And no, it's okay. Good to see you. And now let me see. Uh, this does. This matches my skin. Very nice, Frank. Thank you. So I got. That was more to, I'm at because I have the uh, the baxitracin. What is that called now? Uh, the baxitracin thing is that triple antibiotic that I put on the uh, stitches in it, and it's bleeding through. So I see a little darkness on there. These are the things we worry about on morning radio. They get Not by the chalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, I could have done something like that. How, how are you? You came in uh, down to Wall Street. Thank you very much. Where are you no coming problem. in from? Coaster, New Jersey. Clo- oh Bergen. my goodness gracious! I lived in Alpine for years. Oh really? Huh? Yeah. Two blocks from Alpine. I went, I was in Englewood Cliffs and in Englewood and uh-huh. Tenafly. Now I was, I was in, uh, there were Newark folks, you know, but then I said, let me go close up to New York doing the comedy clubs back in the day. But then I looked at a little town called Alpine. This was 30 years ago. Right. Alpine, I don't know what to say. So I said to my wife at the time, I said, let's move to Alpine, go to Alpine. Gorgeous. So now, now it's like, <laughs> I, you, I couldn't afford to live in Alpine. It's crazy. Stars are there. Isn't Britney Spears up there or something like that? I, I don't know. Chris like, Rock used to be there. Chris I, Rock I, used to be up there. <laughs> So it's, yeah. so it's but closer, Rudy's Pizza. That's all I got to tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Come Rudy's on. Pizza. It's always wow. a great pizza. My son's on Tenafly Varsity High School football team. So Congratulations. Junior, so. That's great. Tenafly, great, great, yeah, great town. Great town. So you're making the foray into uh, the Senate here. And yeah. then tell us your background, Stuart, what's yeah. going on, why you would want to do this. They always say, Joe, you should go in. Then I look at the downside. They don't give you a break. And all you're trying to do is be a public servant. Yeah, well, you know, I, I think this is all about... Uh, the future of New Jersey. That's how I see it. You know, uh, it's it's about time that we put New Jersey first. And I believe that my background experience is perfect to uh, take on Cory Booker, the Spartacus. I know he's a friend of yours, but I don't <laughs> want to offend anyone here. <laughs> uh, but everybody talks. Then they say something about Cory. Joe, I know he's your friend. I've known Cory all my most of my life, and I have respect and love for him. I do. But politically, we're, we're on opposite right. sides of the spectrum. But still, we're friends. But thank you for yeah. acknowledging. No, me. Yeah. no, it's no problem. But you know, it's it's about uh, you know my candidacy is about law and order. It's about uh, truly affordable. Uh, medical care, which is not just naming a statute Affordable Care Act when it's not affordable, uh, pharmaceutical prices that are no higher than Canada or Mexico, uh, and basically, you know, uh, working for uh, the people in New Jersey, not just the corporate elites or the fringes of either party. I want to be, a, uh, you know, a senator that will make New Jersey proud in, in D.C., yeah. So I think I can do that. So now, now you're a Republican candidate going in, so you got to run through a primary. Uh, you got to do the yeah. primary and everything, right? Yeah. So you you got uh, you have a uh, a pack, a political pack, raising the money. That's the trick. Well, I'm raising. Unfortunately, you know, I'm I'm 57 years old. I have some experience in my belt. I'm a former prosecutor, Manhattan DA's office. I know. Right, I right, was listening right, on the right, way right. in. I know yeah, you. Yeah. You weren't too fond of prosecutors on the well, way anymore, in. But my anymore. father was a defense attorney, so I come from a line of uh, attorneys, but. Uh, where, where was your DA, father a defense attorney? In Brooklyn and Manhattan. Wow, cool. So, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, You know, uh, I took the opposite route. Um, you know, he came over from Nazi Germany, uh, and he grew up with those stories. Uh, he came over from Nazi the, Germany? The day before Kristallnacht, eight years old. Wow. So uh, I grew up uh, with those stories. Uh, you know, uh, I'm a proud Jewish American, and um, I went to Solomon Check the high school in Brooklyn, grew up in Brooklyn. Look at you, man. And, uh, you know, I was uh, Manhattan DA yeah, and Attorney yeah. General's office on Devaco. Uh, I was a 9-11 volunteer, uh, you know, on the pile at 9-11, and unfortunately, uh, two and a half years ago, three years ago, I got cancer from it. You did? I beat it, God. had surgery, had what, chemo. What kind and of, now, wow, God bless you, you look great. What, what cancer? Uh, testicular cancer. Gee whiz, from, yeah. that's from down, down, down there? Down there, yeah, yeah. At 9 very unusual. Now, what, what made you go down there? Were you part of a... It's a, right here, actually. <laughs> so, so you were here, so you said, I'll go help. Yeah, well, I was actually living at the time West New York, right on the water. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Jacobs Ferry. Yeah. Uh, and I was taking the ferry to work. I, I worked in the city. You know, I have an office in the city, and uh, I saw the towers fall, you and right uh, they there. canceled the ferry service. And you know, I felt that weekend. Did you get hit by the edge on the ferry? Because I remember it went south. All that, that, that the ter- air. The uh, air went. It was going south that day. I'll never forget that. And so your ferry, you would have been right there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, you know. Uh, that weekend afterwards, uh, I felt like I had to do something. Uh, yeah, and I, for, I, yeah, I just yeah. went. I took the ferry over. I walked from uh, the ferry terminal up in uh, Midtown all the way downtown the West Side Highway. It was like a ghost town yeah, of yeah, military yeah, vehicles. Yeah. And I went right on the on the pile. You know, they had a they had a bucket brigade. They called it. So I was in the front of the pile lifting, yeah. you know, different uh, debris because they didn't want to hurt anyone. And I'll never forget the the whistles. 
you know, when firemen are down, uh, they don't move. These whistles go off automatically. There were hundreds and hundreds of wow. and cadaver dogs, and I, it was like at a scene out of a, a horror movie. Because they they would find they would find something there. Right, they, right. Yeah. So they could find them. So that uh, had an indelible mark on on me. Uh, and then obviously it came back two and a half years ago with dang, cancer. Dang, man. And, uh, yeah, you know, yeah. So once you go through that experience, you you feel like you could take on the world. Yeah. Um, and you know, well, now, you, were you attorney most of your life? Is that the, uh, uh, that's your background? Yeah, I was. Uh, you know, I went. Uh, I went. I was been an attorney for thirty one years. Now. Yeah. So. Yeah. Uh, you know, and you know, I, you know, raised two kids, uh, teenagers. One's in Syracuse University. Unfortunately, being hit with all these uh, swastikas now and everything. It's a freshman in Syracuse. You know, well, well, uh, we appreciate yeah. you coming in store, but really, this anti-Semitic rise. I mean, oh, that's, yeah. that, see, th- see, you got your campaign right here, man. And, and I'm a political junkie, so I appreciate mm-hmm. you doing. I appreciate your courage going in, uh, you. running for Senate in New Jersey, because we got to we got to take it back and, and to get a Republican, get a conservative, uh, in, in that just doesn't go hook, line, and sinker with the uh, progressive socialists down you. there. The anti-Semitic rise, no one's talking about. It's coming out of the House of Representatives in Washington, D.C. Listen, if you're, your family comes from an escaped Nazi Germany, please keep that out there. Oh. Because it, it's almost, you have to, thank God my children are learning about the Holocaust in school. Thank God. Mm-hmm. But they never were. And we have to bring it to the I forefront agree. because you have people like Elon Omar and Rashida Tlaib on the Democrat side that are trying to just do away not only with the Jewish community but with Israel itself. That's why I used to be a Democrat, you know, in Brooklyn. A, yeah, a look at you. Yeah, same Republican way, man. Albino, so same way. I, 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 the, I don't recognize the party of Brooklyn yeah, when I was yeah, in Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah. So the Elon Omar was the, the squad yeah it's not what yeah, i recognize yeah. and that's and, why i became republican and, and use that if i may i'm giving you a campaign strategy yeah. <laughs> yeah. use that 9-11 thing man they forget about it they forget about it and they right. they no, they, they, they 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 make fun of it the way elon omar makes she she it makes fun of it man you got to stay on all those things well ocasio cortez was uh, 10 years old when it happened yeah. so you know she doesn't she, know she has no idea. no idea she should but she yeah. doesn't yeah no, but you know you brought money you know i since that, I was fortunate to represent uh, regular retirees and and uh, uh, widows and uh, against uh, Walt Wells Fargo of the world who get screwed over by their nest eggs. Hello. And, and uh, I had a big uh, award uh, representing an SEC whistleblower against Monsanto. Yeah. Got twenty three million dollars, the well, largest accounting fraud related to case in history. Wow. Two years ago, you did that. So yeah, I did that. So. The, this yeah, helped yeah, me uh, yeah. fund. Um, I gave uh, a significant sum to my own campaign. I'm raising a lot of money in the Jewish community and other communities, and I'm looking forward to getting broad support for Stuart, New Jersey. So. See, you seem like a good guy, but you went through a lot, man. God bless I you. I appreciate it. God so, bless you. I'm glad that you're a survivor, too, a cancer survivor, too. Yeah. You're doing yeah. well. Well, you know, that makes you want to take on the world, you know. When I'm you right that. there. Al's right there with you. Oh, we really? Are, yeah, <laughs> we understand it. Stuart yeah. Meissner. Meissner. Stuart Meissner, Republican Meissner candidate. MeissnerforSenate.com. MeissnerforSenate.com. Stuart, thanks for Thank coming in much. and fighting the traffic down there. Pleasure. By the way, I was here, I was on the phone with you a yeah, couple years ago. Yeah, I remember that. Alimony reform. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, now, wait a minute. Hold another, it. That was another thing I read. Do you remember this? <laughs> Tell me, where, where can Alton I send the check? Robert Alton endorsed me, brought me on. That's great. Robert Alton is great. I ran just to highlight that issue in the special election. Yeah, it's got to be done. they passed the law. It's got to be done for men and women. I wasn't even elected, and they passed the law because he signed the law to reform alimony. I love it. I love it. You know, we'll talk I want to help people. We got to talk. We love okay. it. Stuart, <laughs> Meisner for Senate, USSenate.com. Thank you, Stuart. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much, okay. man.